Hello everyone, welcome to the video, uh, I hope you're having a good day. Um, I don't like talking too much, so let's get right into it. I'm going to show you my settings that I'm using on Arena Breakout Infinite. Uh, first things first, we are going to be using DLSS, okay? So, open file location, Arena Breakout Infinite, right here. We are going to go into Engine, Plugins, Runtime, and Media. Here you're, you're going to see two files, like two folders here. One is DLSS, the other one is DLSS3, okay? Uh, there was no DLSS3 on closed beta, so they added it after the early access release. So we have an outdated file over here, okay? This file is the outdated DLSS version. Here we have another one right here, which is the updated version. You're going to see it from here, 3.7.0.0, okay? We are just going to copy this. This is the game file, so it's totally safe that you're going to use it. Copy it into the normal DLSS folder, all right? Binaries, third party, Win64 and replace the files in the destination. So we have the updated version over here too. So we have two updated versions. This is to make sure we are using the latest DLSS version that the game provides us. This is not the actual <laughs> latest release of DLSS, but the game using a pretty recent one. So no problem there. Uh, so we have another settings here. This is the uh, file that I'm going to show you. You will find those in the description of the video, as you can see. Uh, this is NVIDIA Profile Inspector with DLSS settings. The game normally doesn't allow you to change the DLSS presets, so we are going to be changing it with this uh, particular program. Just go into this, and you're going to see DLSS things popping up here in here first uh i have my media settings right here so if you want to use it just you're gonna just do this import user defined profiles okay import profiles so precious profile open and the profile is successfully imported so you're gonna click on apply changes like this and it's gonna apply everything all right it's not going to touch the DLSS settings over here, uh, since we are going to do something else like this. Let me show you. Uh, let's see. We are going to click on create new profile and name it Arena Breakout Infinite or Abby. Okay. And then we are going to add a game to that profile. And how are we going to do that? We are going to find the Arena Breakout AB in Infinite, Binaries, Win64, UA Game. Here it is. Okay, I actually used another profile, so that's an error for me. And you're gonna go ahead. You created Abby, okay? They, the name might be different for you, whatever you say. And you're gonna go into this after choosing the X file there. UA game X something like that and we're gonna change the DLSS settings from here okay if you want to use the LAA which is the uh, games until I actually DLSS anti-aliasing technology okay if you put it on this it's gonna be forced to 100% so you're just gonna be using the NVIDIA's DLSS anti-aliasing so <clears throat> these settings here two of these settings will be completely ignored if you put it to on but if you want to use a profile you can choose pre preset c or preset e preset e is the one i'm using for this game okay they both are fine but the e is the most updated version so i'm gonna go with preset e if you don't like it, go with preset C, all right? And the other one, you will see 
the scaling ratio here, which game doesn't allow you to change normally when you're in game, you will only see low, medium, or uh, the high setting. Here, you can actually change whatever you want. I'm using it at quality. Most games I play with quality. Uh, it's 0 0.66666 equals to quality. You can change the ultra quality or whatever you want from here. All right. I suggest going with this, either this or, or this. Okay. If you don't have a good graphics card, um, you might want to go lower than that. Actually, the balanced profile here is the high in the game. Okay. Take it as that. But we want more equality. That's why we are changing it from here right so i'm gonna go with quality and all the settings will be applied to the game the preset and also the scaling ratio all right so you're gonna be seeing much better in the game so for the in-game settings i'm gonna log in now i'm show you okay we enjoying the game you're gonna go for image and change it to DLSS, all right? Now, the resolution sampling quality will be completely ignored since we did it on the NVIDIA Profile Inspector. So, just keep it on high. It doesn't change anything, all right? And for the other settings, I have view distance on high, uh, resolution on high, and texture quality on high. The, all, all the other settings are low, all right? That's what I use. You gotta be using either full screen or window full screen i prefer window full screen since i'm using a capture card and it makes it hard to go alt tab faster like this okay so i will be using full screen all the way okay but it doesn't matter uh choose whatever you want i will go for full screen as i said and that's about it also my post processing settings are here too um uh, I usually change sharpness a little bit, move it like one, two, depending on the map and other stuff, but these are always the same, okay? And these are my settings. I uh, hope you enjoy using these settings and be sure to type in the comments if you liked it or not, and I will see you on the next video. Take care, guys. See you later.